Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope this video finds you well on this brisk morning here in the Midwest. At least it is brisk here where I am in the Midwest. Um, I've been wanting to make this review for a little while. This will probably be a quick one today, but uh, this is a review on the Duramax 13,000 watt dual fuel portable generator. Portable with air quotes because this thing is pretty big, but you can certainly move it around uh, in your own garage and driveway. I've had this thing for two years. It's gotten me through several multi-day power outages, which unfortunately is a pretty common thing where I live out here in the woods. Uh, and given that I've been through quite a bit with it, I wanted to share my experience of some things that I really like about it and a few things that could probably be improved. So let's make this a quick one and jump right in. Okay, so first of all, this thing is reliable and it is powerful. 13,000 starting watts. So when you start up your oven or your air conditioner, these super um, power hungry things, it has no issues handling that. And I mean that I can run my entire home on this. And that includes refrigerators, ovens, air conditioner, lights. You do have to be cognizant of all of the things that you're running in parallel. Like you're not gonna turn on your oven and air conditioner at the exact same time, because that's gonna draw a lot of starting power. But if you're logical with it, it can definitely power your whole home. A couple of other things, it's not overly loud. It's about as loud as you would expect it to be for a 13,000 watt generator. I've actually had lower wattage, like 7,000 watt generators that were louder. So in comparison, I think that's actually pretty good. Um, usually when you're running a generator, other people probably are running a generator too if you're using it for a power outage. So it's not that big of a deal. This thing has plenty of outlets on it. It has a 30 amp and a 50 amp. I use the 50 amp with the breaker into the side of my house so it can power the whole home. Uh, this is not a video on how you can set that up but i highly suggest if you're getting this generator that you have a whole home interlock system a few other things i really like the push to start when it works and i'll come back to that in a minute works really well usually in warm uh, temperatures uh, also it has a low oil warning which is great to have on this generator and i'll come back to that in a minute too because that is actually probably the biggest con of this generator and that is that this thing just drinks through oil um, so this is probably why this generator is so affordable um, given the amount of power that it makes and a lot of that has to do with the oil cooling type that it is it's a splash oil cooling system. I don't honestly know exactly what that means, but it's something to be aware of if you're using it for a power outage because you will go through oil uh, in about two days. So something to think about if you're running it overnight. Um, again, it has that low oil automatic shut off and warning. So you don't have to worry about damaging the engine, which is great, um, but you definitely wanna have some oil on hand. I mentioned the automatic start a second ago. Um, it does work great when it's warmer out. Uh, when it is colder, it doesn't seem to work at all. And I keep this thing on a battery tender, uh, which is kind of surprising. So it tries to turn it over, but essentially if I'm cold starting this thing, you really seem to have to use the pull start as a backup, which not the end of the world. It's nice that it even has the uh, automatic push to start, but that thing only seems to really work when it's warmer outside. <laughs> Overall, highly suggest this generator. It has kept me powered on for multiple days of power outages. Uh, I only put rec fuel in this thing, so um, no ethanol added. That helps keep the fuel um, stable longer. Um, I also put stabilizer in it if I'm gonna store it for the winter, something that you definitely want to do. Uh, but using something like rec fuel or ethanol three, ethanol free fuel is ultimately a good idea i hope if you were thinking about buying this generator it's on amazon uh, maybe this review can be helpful for you again highly suggest as a whole home generator has worked great for my wife and i and uh, this is a quick one until next time see you guys later